On March 6, SWAN will be holding a two-part auction of 100 fine works of art on paper and 19th and 20th century prints and drawings. The first catalog of 100 fine works of art on paper is devoted to what we feel are the most important works in the auction, uh, not only by value or estimation, but also uh, art historical value. The second catalog contains a smorgasbord of 19th and 20th century art prints and drawings, uh, mainly European and American, and uh, it's a lesser price value, but equally interesting works in my opinion. The first lot we're going to talk about is one of the most important 19th century prints in the auction. It's lot 7 by Edgar Degas. It is De Danseuse, a dry point with aquatint from circa 1877 to 78. Degas is considered one of the founders of Impressionism, but he's not exactly an Impressionist. He exhibited with the Impressionists, but the works that he made are not exactly in their style. He did not use the colorful short brush strokes that the Impressionists like Monet and Renoir used. Uh, he had his own style that's maybe more closely akin to Toulouse-Lautrec. Um, and unlike a lot of other Impressionists, he was also a fairly prolific printmaker. He made some 60 etchings, lithographs, dry points, and another 200 or so monotypes. We also know that Degas was a collector, that he collected Japanese prints, and he was also a photographer and interested in photography. And looking at this image, you, you see a scene that's almost a little bit of both. It has the unlikely non-Western, if you will, composition that's similar to a Japanese print, and at the same time, the spontaneity of a photograph. In regard to his interest in photography, it's also interesting in this print that he's almost working from positive to negative. If you look at the image, there's a lot of tone in the background, dark tone, which is formed by the aquatint, and then what he does to form the image is scrapes away that and, and brings out the light. Technically, it's a very complex print, but he makes it all look so simple on the paper. The important thing with this print is that it's a lifetime impression. There are only a handful known, maybe six to eight impressions in the world, and that scarcity leads to its, its great value. Lot 17 is a seated bather counterproof of a pastel drawing by Renoir. This lot is very interesting to me because it is actually both a print and a drawing at the same time. One reason why we've estimated this as we have is because it's a unique work. When I said it's both a print and a drawing, it's actually a counterproof of a pastel drawing. In order to make a counterproof of a pastel drawing, or any drawing for that matter, or an etching, the artist simply takes the, the drawing, the finished drawing, wets a piece of paper and applies that to the finished drawing, gently rubs that and picks the paper up and on that sheet of paper has an impression from the drawing or from the recently printed image. So basically you're taking a print from a drawing. And the counter impression or the counter proof of the drawing which we have here is basically a second image. There can also be a second and third counterproof. You can have multiple counterproofs, but mind you, each time that you apply paper to the drawing, you remove pigment, and there's less and less pigment to go around, so subsequent impressions, if you will, become more and more pale. So while someone like Degas was well known for the counterproofs that he made of his pastel drawings and prints during his lifetime, and these things were collected, it wasn't really known that Renoir did this, even though it was totally accepted in his age. These things were discovered later on by one of his dealers, sold to another dealer, and only appeared on the market some 20 years ago. So it's a fairly new phenomenon for us, even though not so surprising. 
This sale contains a nice selection of prints and drawings by what we refer to as society painters of the turn of the century, circa 1890 to 1910 or so. Lot 24 is one of those. It's a dry point portrait of the Duchess of Marlborough by Paul Caesar Elieu from 1903. Lot 25 is Boldini's portrait of an unknown sitter, possibly his wife, and it is also one of these beautiful portraits of society women that we have in this auction. These are extremely charming, elegant portraits of top women in society in New York and London and Paris by artists who were friendly with each other, artists like Elieu and Boldini. We're all friends with John Singer Sargent, an American expatriate who worked in Paris, and Whistler, a sort of the dandy crowd who hung out with these society women and painted portraits of them. This is an important facet of late 19th century, early 20th century art, the painting and printmaking of these society portraits. At the same time, you can't forget that such developments as Impressionism and Post-Impressionism and Early Modernism in, in Cubism are taking place. It's all interwoven here, yet at the same time, there are artists like Elieu and Boldini and Sargent who are truly making their living painting and making prints of people in society, at the same time that they also had other pursuits. The popularity of these images certainly changes over time with, with portraits in general. Uh, they were hugely popular at the turn of the century and now we're seeing a resurgence of popularity in these portraits among collectors who are attracted to the elegance of that bygone era.